So here we go, more than a few months in to the court proceeding of the YSL RICO trial with Young Thugger. Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So it seems like they've made very little progress. The YSL RICO trial, there's been a number of chaotic things going on in the courtroom to drugs and lawyers getting arrested and, you know, deputies getting arrested, uh, stuff getting smuggled in the court and people get filed in contempt. I mean, let's go on and on and on and on. But here's the latest that they put out on the news report dealing with the case and the progress of have we even sat one juror yet? Maybe? Let's find out. It was 27 weeks ago the YSL trial kicked off here at the Fulton County Courthouse. So far, not one juror has been seated, but that process took a little bit of a hit this week when one of the potential jurors was held in contempt and is now in trouble herself. This will not show up. That, I find that to be unacceptable. Judge Ural Glanville lectured a potential YSL gang and racketeering trial juror Wednesday. His frustration evident after juror 1705 missed a hearing that would have possibly excused her from jury service. This is very, very serious. It's one of the most important civic obligations that we can have. I literally forgot it was not a malicious act. It was not that I just decided not to come or show up that day. Judge Glanville found her in contempt and gave her two options. Five days of trial observation or 20 days in jail. What do you want to do? I'll do the five days. Ultimately, I think the judge knew she wasn't going to take the 20 days. She's going to come watch the trial, which is what he wanted to happen. Devin Rafis is a local criminal defense attorney. He says this latest incident joins a long string of disruptions the YSL trial has faced since it started in January. Some of the more notable examples include an alleged drug dealing court between Young Thug and another co-defendant, the arrest of a defense attorney, and the arrest of a Fulton County deputy for allegedly trying to smuggle contraband to a defendant in the case. It's almost like a circus. You have different things the crazy things that you don't ever hear happening normally that are happening consistently in this case despite all the little hiccups we've seen rafis says the court hopes to have jury selection completed soon with the trial starting in september